a few homers for that. <laughs> Well, every Wednesday leading up to my due date, I'm going to be sharing a variety of new parent related stories. These are things that I've had to learn myself, and so I wanted to share them with you. Kicking off our bump day series is car seat safety as we count down to baby Cory. I am here at the St. Louis Children's Specialty Care Center in town and country with my car seat expert, Brittany Kaiser, who is going to help ease all my fears because Brittany, I've already purchased my car seat and I have my base, but I don't have the first clue as to how to get it in my car and make sure that it's safe for my child. The car seats are, they are pretty complex. There's a lot of working parts, a lot of moving things, and it can be really overwhelming, especially for a new parent, to look at this and be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? How am I gonna get my baby home safely? So the first thing you always have to do is make sure the seat's level. You have to make sure that whenever your child is in here, the bubble is on the level line. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is there's a belt path right here. This is for the rear facing belt path. So that means that the seat belt, if you're gonna use a seat belt to install, has to come through here, or you can use these latch anchors and they have to come through this rear facing belt path. Pushing down where the baby's bottom goes and you're pulling this latch strap up and down to get it tight so that this, when you check it at the belt path, it shouldn't move more than an inch. Harnessing them in is equally as important as installing the car seat because if they're not in it right, then the car seat doesn't do them any good. I'm gonna make sure their butt's all the way back so that they have an open airway. What we do next is one goes over one hip just like this. The other goes over the other hip and then this chest clip buckles. And then what you do is you're gonna pull the slack out. There's always a tightening mechanism at the bottom of the car seat. Should only be able to fit one finger right under her chest clip here. All right, so I posted this picture on my Facebook page yesterday. There it is, we have installed our car seat. So that's just one more thing crossed off the list. It feels really good. But some of the important things to take away from this that I learned is that children should remain in rear facing car seats until they reach 35 pounds or 36 inches tall. There used to be an age limit on it, but kids weigh different um, mm -hmm. weights at different ages. So you should really go by the weight and the height. And once they grow out of the infant seat, it's recommended that you then switch to a rear facing convertible seat because that'll change for their height. Yep. And then if you want to check your work, you can visit one of four safety stop locations or your local fire department. However, not all fire stations still offer that car seat installation. Mm -hmm. It just depends on their staffing and what's going on. If there's <clears throat> someone actually there who's trained in mm -hmm. it. So probably just call ahead before you show up and then they're like, yeah, sorry, we can't help you. Yeah, yeah. it's good to know. Uh, but some yeah. of them still do. Right. So. And, and you know the funny thing about it all? Because one day that little baby that you had to strap in will be driving that car. That's terrifying. <laughs> with, their own, with their own baby eventually. That's terrifying. Yeah. So. You're going to do just fine. 